God is saying to you today, this month is coming to an end, and in just a few days you will be looking forward to something new, something better, something good, and a new month is starting. However, child of God, although it's healthy to hope for the best, we also need to remember to enjoy the present moment and the challenges we face. We often lose sight of the beauty in the moment because we are too preoccupied with racing through life, always looking forward, geared, and pursuing the next great thing, breakthrough, or blessing. We no longer notice the little marvels that God does on a daily basis. We fail to see that every beat she makes is a gift from God. The adversary would want us to concentrate on your issues our suffering to the extent that we fail to see the happiness that is there in front of us. This is an invitation to stop and be grateful for the time we have today, because there is a reason for every season. A chance for development and the assurance of God's presence in every hardship. Even as you begin this new month, He is still with us. Keep hope alive. Maintain your faith. Don't forget to be grateful. Appreciate the little triumphs in life, peaceful, calm times, your happy connections and relationships. Keep in mind the previous occasions when God has answered your prayers and use those recollections to strengthen your trust in the future. Let us follow in the footsteps of David who said, I will bless the Lord despite his problems. Even when I'm terrified, I will always be speaking praises to him. We must decide to give thanks even in the face of uncertainty. Worship as a way to express thankfulness for God's kindness. Because it is in our praise that we find serenity, in our worship that we find strength. Thus, although you look forward to what God has in store for you, remember to live completely in the now. To appreciate the benefits that are already yours. To adore laughter and to accept silent love. As you begin this new month, remember that Jesus Christ is the author and perfecter of our faith. Above all, grant yourself a deep and unconditional forgiveness with immense appreciation and delight. I pray that you will always have the support of your Heavenly Father. May He shower you with His blessings. Great. Don't forget to say Amen and give thanks to the Lord in the comments.